Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am so glad you stopped by and I hope that before you leave, you decide to hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. I post videos every Monday and Friday. So in today's video, I want to go over kind of like my nighttime routine and what I do. This is not every night, mind you. I am a pretty busy person and most nights I just end up passing out. But this is the type of routine that I do on a day where I know that I really need some serious relaxation. It's been a really long week. My parents were in town for over eight days, and though we had an amazing time, there was a lot of hiking involved, late nights, and things like that, and I am almost 31 weeks pregnant. So today I decided to give my room a nice clean and change my sheets, and speaking of, I am so excited because I partnered up with Bedscape here. They offered to send me a set of sheets of my choice to review for you guys. This video is not sponsored. They're not paying me for this. They just offered to send me these sheets to do an unboxing and a review for you guys. So I've been in the market for some new sheets anyway, so I was really excited. I chose the king size sheets in the white stripe in the 350 count sateen. So I chose a sateen because I like my sheets to be just a little bit more silky and have that really nice hotel feel. And these sheets have not disappointed. I've slept on them for two nights already and I really enjoy them. So Bedscape sheets are made of 100% long staple cotton and they're available in two different fabrics. The sateen, which is 350 thread count that I chose, and also their percal, which is a 300 thread count. Obviously, I chose a sateen for personal preference. I just like a silkier sheet, but I'm sure both are wonderful. And I will get into the rest of the information about the company once I start making my bed. So while the sheets are washing, I'm going to get into cleaning the rest of my bedroom. So at this point, I'm going to take down the pack and play. Lenny was in, our, in her pack and play in our bedroom the entire time my parents were in town. We set up an air mattress in her room since we don't have an, the luxury of having a guest bedroom in this house. So anyway, um, we took apart her crib because she's like barreling out of it now. It's like official. She doesn't stay in it. She can climb out of it. She can climb in it. And after everything that I read, I guess that just means it's time for her to be in a toddler bed. So I'm just going to get back to cleaning the room. John had gotten home from work and he took Lenny for the rest of the night. That way I could get the room totally set up for a night of relaxation for myself. And yeah, let's just get on with the cleaning and I will play some music for you guys and I will get back to you when I start my pamper routine. I'm by the byway, waiting for your lead I don't wanna fall in love like this But I can't help to fall for you repeatedly I don't wanna seem to shake you, oh no Like I'm sudden but I'm steady I don't know about you guys, but you see me clean my room a lot. And yes, my television is still sitting between the wall and the dresser. Hopefully we'll get that taken care of soon. It's driving me nuts. So a little bit about Bedscape. It's an American brand just launched. The sheets are designed in New York and produced in one of the oldest Israeli textile factories. Their collections are super classic and timeless, both in colors and fabrics. They really wanted to offer versatility and long-term use. So like I said, the sheets are made of 100% long staple cotton and they're available in two different fabrics. The Percal, which is a 300 thread count, and the Sateen, which is a 350 thread count. 
They're Ukutek Standard 100 certified, which means they don't use any chem chemicals or GMO used during manufacturing, which is super important to me because I have a toddler and I'm gonna have a newborn baby that are both gonna be in bed with us, and it's just nice having peace of mind. They also offer free shipping and returns for all US orders. The prices are super affordable considering the quality of the product, and the reason that they can afford that is because they eliminate a lot of the intermediary costs by selling online, which a lot of us shop online anyway, so it works out well for everybody. So they did offer me a special discount code. It's 30% off, which is super generous on your order. They have amazing sheets and duvet covers. That's what I'll be getting next. I can't wait because I, as you guys can see, I don't have one and I just throw my blanket over top of it. But the code is YouTube30. Again, I will have Bedscape's website and the discount code linked below in the description. I really hope you guys check it out. I slept on these for the past two nights and I'm really excited to sleep on them again. It's like sleeping in hotel quality sheets. Oh, also right here, I wanted to show you the pillows are, uh, the pillow cases are for king size pillows, which I don't have because I'm kind of picky on my pillows, but they're great because they have those little pockets where you tuck it around your pillow and you don't have to worry about it sliding out. So I'm gonna get on to my nighttime routine. I just really wanted to share that with you guys and I hope you check Bedscape out and let me know if you did. So now it's time to relax. At this point, I'm just filling up my oil diffuser and one of my favorite scents of all time is bergamot. So this one I love. My sister recently got this for me as a little surprise and I love it so much. It's so great when you're just laying in bed and I can't, I don't know, I can't explain it. Everybody has a scent that they love. Mine is bergamot. I can't get enough of that. So at this point, I'm gonna start on my skincare. I make sure my hair is out of my face. I grab a nice premium cotton round and some makeup remover. At this time, I'm using the Garnier um, micellar water and I love this stuff just for kind of pre-cleansing my skin before I wash it. So the cleanser that I'm using at the moment is the Extreme Lashes brand and that's because I have eyelash extensions in right now and you can't really use any products that have any sort of oils in it. So this is all natural botanicals and it's oil free and it's been really good for my skin and my eyelashes lately but I won't be getting my lash extensions from here on out because my belly is just too heavy to lay on my back. I tried it for about, oh I don't know, the past two months. And it's been a really neat experience, but it's probably not something I'll keep doing. It's, it's a lot of maintenance, and especially with having two children. Now I'm going to go in and lightly exfoliate my face with my Aveda facial brush. It's pretty soft um, and it just offers really light exfoliation and gives me a really nice massage and I just love the way that this feels. For some of you, well most of you probably don't know that I am a licensed esthetician so skincare is very important to me and sunscreen just all over taking care of my skin is super important to me. So this may seem like a lot of steps but it just seems like it takes a long time because I'm on camera. I do this typically in about five minutes each night. This uh, face mask that I'm using is the Fresh Rose Hip Facial Mask. It's for hydration. I've been super dry since being pregnant and also moving to such high elevation here in Denver from the Midwest. So I'm going to leave this on for about 10 minutes and while I leave this on, I typically we'll watch you know any I'll catch up with my friends YouTube videos or edit my own videos and things like that um, like I said I'll leave it on for about 10 minutes Once I get the mask removed, I go in with a facial toner, and today I'm using the Mario Badescu toner. This is rose water, aloe, and herbs, and then I go in with my nightly serums. This is the Coop and Daisy Night Glow, and then I also use a vitamin C and ferulic acid. 
So I just kind of mix those two and make a little cocktail. And I always make sure that I pat and gently press and roll my serums into my face. So here's the little tip. Anytime you finish using any sort of facial moisturizer or serum, always rub the excess on your hands because our hands are one of the first things to show signs of aging and it's just a great way to make your products go even further. Next, I'm using the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair for Eyes and I'm just gonna give my eyes a little bit of love and tap these with my ring finger, which is your weakest digit, and just kind of dab, dab this around my orbital bone. I'm using my Bio Elements Sleepwear. I put this on every night, which you can tell I need to go purchase a new jar, which darn it, I meant to do that today and I totally forgot. Anyway, I love this stuff. It's super hydrating. It's great for anti aging It has a lot of anti-aging properties in it. And yeah, I just love the way it feels when I go to bed and I wake up and my face feels like a baby's bottom, even though this pregnancy has me breaking out. And again, I always take my facial moisturizers and serums and I go down my neck and my chest as well. Then I go in with my Sensodyne and brush my teeth. Pretty standard. Now I'm using my Burt's Bees Mama Bee Belly Butter and I'm going to slather this all over my big old pregnant belly, my hips, and my chest. And I always use a hand cream at night because my hands are super, super dry and I just give them a nice rub down with a generous amount of lotion. Now I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna read one of my absolute favorite books, Women Who Run With the Wolves. I love this book and I'm just gonna relax for a while. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you check out Bedscape and the, use the discount below. Let me know what you thought. And just a little disclaimer, I do use a lot of products, but just, you know, a, a couple of them, a few of them are probably a little bit pricey, but the majority of them I actually find at TJ Maxx. I do my research, I review each product, I look at the reviews on each product, I make sure they're not expired, and it's a really great way to get great quality products without breaking the bank. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.